This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today I want to talk about scrotal ultrasound. Definitely when we are starting the scanning of any part, we are preparing our patients. For scrotal ultrasound, the patient will lie on supine position. A towel is draped between the thighs to help support the scrotum warm gel is applied. Ultrasound characteristic of the normal disease is as follow. First of all, the echogenicity that is medium level while the mediastinum is echogenic. The ecotexture it is homogeneous. Surface that is smooth. The shape is white in symmetrical vascularity largest vessels are on surface the overall size is 45 into 25 into 22 23 millimeter the overall volume is 15 to 20 centimeter cube it should be mentioned that size of the tcs is decreased with the age. This shows the testes. Here we can see the tunica vaginalis, tunica albuginea, the seminiferous tubules separated from each other by the septae. These are connected to the retitases which are lying in the mediastinum. The mediastinum is connected through efferent ducticles to the epididymis. Epididymis has head which is lying in, uh, on the upper pole of the testes, the body and tail. The tail finally it is going toward the uh, spermatic cord and making vas difference. The seminiferous tubules converge to form the retitases. And definitely the retitases is located in the mediastinum. The mediastinum appears as peripherally located elongated hyperequic structure. And the retitases connects the epididymal head through the efferent ductules. Epididymal head is semilunar with the rounded edges and the echogenicity is almost always similar to the testes. This is the normal thesis. This is the mediastinum, the hyperequic echogenicity with the smooth surface this is also the mediastinum peripherally located and here we can see the epididymal body and if we compare these two the echogenicity of epididymal body is lesser as compared with the testes. This is the testes, this is the epididymal head, the echogenicity is almost the same. Epididymal head, as I told, rests directly on the upper pole of the testes. Head continues inferiorly, making the body and then tail. And both the body and tails are hyperequic as compared to the testes. Body and tails are smaller and can usually be seen along the anterior lateral or posterior aspect of the testes. The body tends to move with the mediastinum. Vast difference is seen in the spermatic cord, a straight, non compressible, hypoequic tube becomes progressively tortuous as it enters to the scrotum and connects to the epidermal tail. The tiny lumen 
is 0.3 millimeter can be seen with a high resolution probe. This is the Christie's. This is the body and tail, which is hypoechic in lying posterior. This is the body and tail, which is hypoechic as compared to the head of epididymis. And here it is lying anteriorly. Another thing which is called appendix of the testes. This is the testes. This is the upper pole. And here small tissue is attached to the testes surrounded by fluid which is hydrocele. This is the vast difference. This is the tube, longitudinal view. This is a transverse view, which is appeared like bull eyes. Vascular supply. Vascular supply to the testes. First of all, the capsular arteries. They are the major arteries, and they are located in the periphery. The centripetal arteries. The centripetal arteries are branches of the capsular arteries that supply the testes parenchyma and travel toward the mediastinum. The testicular arteries waveform have a low resistance pattern. The veins of the testes drain through the mediastinum as well as through the capsule of the testes. Blood flow may or may not be seen in the normal epididymis, but it is very much important. It should not be as vascular as the testes. This is the capsular arteries. The, these are the centripetal arteries taking branches from the capsular arteries. And these are some recurrent rami from centripetal arteries. These are the arteries which are lying in the mediastinum. And also the other arteries can be visualized. This is the black and white uh, vessels visualized in the mediastinum. These are called transmediastinal arteries, which are lying within the mediastinum. Thank you very much for watching this video and the next video will be regarding the role of ultrasound and the pathologies of the uh, scrotum. Thank you very much.